Namaste and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge weekly meeting. This meeting is a part of the Essence of Knowledge program, which is a free and online program for the seekers of the path of knowledge, available on Gyanmark dot guru for everybody. In these meetings, I try to answer your questions, solve your issues regarding the verification. We also conduct tests, and I help in. other steps of the program such as cure awareness practice and uh, purification practice and so on so all questions if any are most welcome so how to control anger in every situation from the perspective of the path of knowledge and from any spiritual perspective any emotion that is out of control not only anger will be treated as an impurity it is an impurity in the mind specifically in the layers of emotion secondly there is an impurity in more layers also which you will come to know in step number 6 so i'll just give you a very short answer because step number 6 is concerned with purification dealing with impurities it is all a part of the program so what are the other layers that can be impure you will need to find out according to your personal situation something that i can say is the social layers are impure there are situations that are triggering the anger so probably surroundings people jobs relatives there is an impurity there and the impurity here simply means not living in optimal environment then as i said layer of emotions is impure and uh, layer of intellect is also not working properly because uh, he said i later regret that means the intellect appears later not before the action that is impurity and the third impurity will be in the layer of awareness if there is no awareness all the bottom layers will function in a mechanical way so on the path of knowledge we start from top not from the bottom we don't start clearing the bottom layers first we start from the top that is by cultivating awareness awareness means i am not this machine which is showing signs of emotional or intellectual deficiency i am not that this thought itself arises in this machine in this body mind machine and that is the start of purification actually this separates the real self from the assumed self the assumed self is also called the ego or the separate self aham in sanskrit as soon as this happens the ego is diminished it will not disappear it simply comes under control that i am not this this simply remembering the knowledge self knowledge does it and that gives a chance for intelligence to function to get activated simply remembering who you are and also in conjunction to that remembering that the situations and people around you are illusions it is a dream once you do this once you become aware it is also called wake up once you wake up in this dream the bottom layers become calm and quiet nothing unusual happens nothing happens mechanically or under the impulse of this machine which are simply survival instincts of this body mind anger etc so it is doing its own function but now it is well controlled by higher layers this is the power of awareness it is not that this body mind machine will become inactive and sit down and do nothing no it will do exactly that which is needed if it is anger that is needed yes it will do that but there will not be any consequence there will not be any fruits of this action so this is a big topic but uh, i told you that i'll i'm going to only give you a short answer so the key is awareness how to get the awareness know what you are how to know what you are you are already on the path you have already listened now get the evidence actually the evidence is presented in the chapters itself now verify the evidence is it true is it false who are you are you this body mind machine like your uh, statement says that i am unable to control my anger that means self realization has not happened yet 
otherwise you would have said that this body mind thing becomes angry sometimes the word i loses importance for somebody who is having the self realization and also remembers it is in awareness if there is no self realization nothing will work and to get the self realization you need to listen to the teaching of the path of knowledge and verify it verification means now it is true that you are not this body mind machine it is true then the purification happens automatically and this is the time to employ that what whatever knowledge you gained employ it in your daily life that is step number 4 so you must be doing it how to do it that is what is given in uh, step number 4 videos how to do it and it is a matter of practice initially the awareness will not happen in uh, difficult situations so nothing to worry if it is there in uh, normal situations it will extend into all situations you must also keep in mind remember that these emotions etc and the activities of the body also should not be suppressed you should not suppress it you should let it happen but this time shine the light of awareness that is not me it is this body mind machine why it is acting in such a way why it is functioning in such a way because of its past programming whatever is impressed on its in its, in its memory it is simply executing that like a machine robot that is what it is it is simply a machine body mind machine this past programming is called impressions in sanskrit we call it sanskar so your impressions are driving this body mind machine and through purification and awareness practice you can overwrite the old impressions and cultivate something new before you can program it with something new the old should go away going away of the old removal of the old dirt is called purification so you cultivate awareness first that is what the step number 4 is doing then uh, step 5 is simply learning to evaluate the progress and step 6 is purification where you remove the old programming the methods are given there so go step by step hopefully many of the impurities will be gone but if you try to jump to the steps without thinking then it will not happen there is a reason that it is a step by step process there is a reason that knowledge is given first so that you can have awareness and there is a reason that awareness cultivation is needed so that the purification happens there is no other way i don't know of any other way this is the best possible so will it become absolutely clean like angelic no it will not it will simply remove that which is unnecessary anger etc etc all the activities will remain but they will not be extreme we don't want to clean this machine completely of what is already there we need to simply control what is already there so more will come up there is no doubt about it this is lifetime's work it will last for whole life that is why we kept it in the last so that you don't get stuck in the program forever i am on step 6 purification listening to your talks it has become evident to me that identifying the impulse impurities and purification of all aspects specifically especially on emotions thoughts and desires will be a lifelong thing also being in awareness is the common key at all levels of purification and i wanted to share that often while listening to any random talk of yours sudden bout of crying is tig- triggered which is unexpected and unexplainable and it is not in an unpleasant way there is an any element of joy in that why does it happen you already wrote that which i said just now that it is a lifelong thing and uh, awareness is the key there is no other way we do not do surgery in the mind no impossible it will cause problems and you should remember that purification is not a part of path of knowledge it is not it is added for your benefit by the loving kindness of the guru field i am not interested at all in purification but i was told to do this to make the program complete because what is the use of dry knowledge philosophy for an average person so all these things i know people come to spirituality to improve stuff it is good but remember nothing gets improved it is dropped 
not improvement removal is purification whatever is accumulated is the impurity you don't need to improve it you need to leave it so yes you are progressing nicely keep the awareness on it shines light on all the layers that are below it and whatever is going uh, in an abnormal way excessive way automatically is reduced because there is no doer nobody commands the layer don't do this nobody says like this there is nobody there but there is only the witness and it has this effect now why there are symptoms like sudden joy crying sometimes there will be other like i have seen many cases where people fall asleep when they listen to the videos or when some advice is given to them they immediately sense that they are falling asleep just an example what are these symptoms we call them symptoms many people get it they are side effects of purification remember this word side effect it is not wrong it is not a problem in the body or mind it is simply side effect of purification what is this side effect something is changing in the mind and it is something which is very very complicated very complex frankly i don't understand what is happening there it is very complicated but what we understand is there will be side effects of purification symptoms sometimes it is uh, really light not so serious like crying or laughing or sleeping sometimes it is not so lightweight sometimes it is very unpleasant like symptoms of diseases they start appearing in the body people run to doctors and a doctor says everything is right with you or doctors treat the symptoms which is okay i don't mind i mean you can treat symptoms but some sometimes they are painful but they disappear within days just like you said it is unexpected and unexplainable however it is not harmful as soon as you find that something harmful is happening you should inform me i think you already informed me about uh, this thing so it is not a problem it is a si- symptom of purification and it will go away as soon as that layer is purified whatever is suppressed or rubbish was there is cleared it goes away but simply expressing will remove it from the system suppression is a problem yes and these crying and so on um, and the bodily issues uh, they are um, according to our psychology they are ca- caused by suppressed emotions also suppressed desires emotion is simply a sign of there being a desire behind it what is that desire you need to find it out fulfill that desire or there can be karmic bondages I, I, just like i told you it is a big subject it is not a part of path of knowledge you are given the tools in the step number 6 you can employ them if you understand what you are doing you can do it if you don't understand anything you can ask me send personal messages if you don't like to discuss this thing in satsang so identify what is suppressed identify the unfulfilled desires make a list of it keep it private secret even you can write it in coded form so that nobody can read it and uh, simply become aware of it and that is the first step if you can do something physically or mentally do it yes, there is no problem however it should be done in complete secrecy because people will become uh, terrified if they see that something is happening to you which is not normal in their day to day life for us it is normal i mean for me these things are everyday events everyday many of you who are attending my satsang this meeting regularly must have seen these cases must have seen so many strange questions cases it is everyday thing in spirituality however your family members and people in your office or wherever society they do not know all these things they become terrified and if they are not in spiritual field they are not on the path you should keep it secret keep your practice secret sometimes the blame goes to the guru who has advised something he must have done something to you that's why you are getting all these symptoms and so on you are behaving like a mad person so that is why we do not make it public however if you are feeling unwell there are physical symptoms then you must visit a doctor simply to 
ensure that it is not really physical because sometimes we think that it is uh, my purification but it can be a real physical thing by real i mean not rega- uh, related to purification so you should be practical a little bit keep it a secret if it is physical uh, kind of uh, symptom get the advice of a doctor get it treated because it's a symptom so no problem even if the doctor treats the symptom only not knowing the disease it's okay it's fine however you should not give up the practice of purification we can delay it there is no doubt about it we can delay the purification process however you will need to do it later again from the beginning some people have delayed their purification so much that they will need to take a few human births to complete it what is that what are they trying to purify what is it that needs to be completed burned away just like i mentioned it is called impressions sanskar where are they nobody knows not in your head that is sure not in the brain or the body that is sure because it continues for many lifetimes so usually we call it the causal body but that is out of syllabus <laughs> for now do whatever is possible and do it in a relaxed way there is no hurry take breaks yes that is important that you are noticing suppression and so on that is very good all you need to do is write it down you need to express it somewhere ignoring is not an option in spirituality we cannot ignore we can delay it but it it will come back again the effect of impurities is they take you back in ignorance first thing that will happen is the mind has an inertia it will take you back in the old state of ignorance why because that is what happened since many lifetimes if you don't believe in lifetimes and all no problem that is what has happened since your birth birth of this body ignorance so it has a little bit of inertia plus the society and the environment around you is completely in in darkness so the mind falls back in darkness it likes it there so the practice of awareness is very important it should be done for whole life those people who are who have no impurities or don't have major impurities they need not do all this thing they need not worry or oh, nothing is happening to me well probably there is nothing to happen that's why nothing is happening you are already very clear clean inside so nothing will happen so these symptoms are not a sign of progress that must be made clear they are a sign of purification however indirectly it is showing that something is changing krish is saying i am seeing a lot of repeated numbers frequently is it because of awareness does it have any significance so it is a personal matter now isn't it it is a matter of uh, personal experience you can say that these numbers are coincidences they appear every time anyway so sometimes you notice it these things should not be given too much importance something miraculous is happening in my life no probably not sometimes people think that they are signs they are not coincidences sometimes they are signs and it will happen frequently for a while then it disappears just like everything else it stops my suggestion will be we don't know why it is there we don't know is it because of awareness or are they signs or something but you can give it a positive angle think of it as a sign of progress that you are on the right path acknowledge i know it sounds little, little bit superstitious but we are beyond the path of knowledge here we are completely in illusion in the domain of illusion everything is possible so here simply playing helps not trying to find whether it is true or false or what it is what is the reason what is the meaning no and this this is complete illusion so you can also play there attach a significance if there is no significance no no problem at all fully knowing that it is false illusion this dream is happening like this right now you can take it as a sign of progress play assume the role of a seeker and show your gratitude say thank you say some prayer whatever prayer you like whatever language whatever tradition does not matter it's all a play but 
if it is a sign and somebody is uh, or something is taking this trouble of showing you the signs it is our duty to simply say thank you acknowledge and say thank you now it will sound like childish i know it is for somebody on the path of knowledge it is a laughing matter but what i have seen is you become a child there is nothing wrong here people are going to call you crazy but that's why i said keep it a secret because it is going to be over after some time so while it is happening all this coincidences strange happening symptoms whatever you become a player with this play and never give it any negative meaning because the play can become negative very easily it is your play isn't it it is your play the illusion is also you you are appearing to yourself so any intelligent person will not make it negative and any intelligent person will not make it boring we want to make it interesting joyful that yes finally something is happening although <laughs> i i don't think it is really that significant but you can play because see that the illusion is playing maya is playing with you it can be anything it can be guru field we don't know and the guru field is complete illusion as you know so you become a part of this play start playing my uh, point is i mean the important thing to remember here is always give it a positive meaning never negative and and the consequences will be good that's what i've seen even if there are some uh, undesired uh, events you know problem take it as lessons take it as uh, revelation of impurity say thank you that you have shown my impurity now i am aware enough to see that this is my impurity you need to simply acknowledge and then the progress becomes very fast do not worry whether it is true or false or why there are no causes in the illusion it is causeless the causes also appear out of nowhere so you can ruin the game by saying that it is not real and they stop happening i have seen not responding to it then nobody cares if uh, somebody is calling you don't pick the phone then they stop calling you same thing or you can become terrified get frightened and you try to suppress these things something strange is happening to me paranormal and that will have a bad effect it is guaranteed so being a seeker it is our job to turn everything into positive it is positive so far i have not seen something very negative there are few cases where it becomes really negative and that is because of some kind of past entanglement with dark forces where i should not go at this time so normally um 99.9% cases are all positive they all show positive symptoms positive events positive signs even if it is not a sign we say it is a sign just to feel good however you should not become crazy after it one day you don't see any number you should not blame anybody or yourself it is a play leela enjoy that's what is my suggestion being a seeker it is our habit or you should make it your habit to take each and every event as an opportunity to progress your desires are not getting fulfilled yes opportunity to learn it is not my desire first of all probably i am doing something wrong that's why it's not getting fulfilled and so on you see you can contemplate on these things also and if it is getting fulfilled do not jump up and down that i did something great it is my achievement no there also you calm down this happened i am not the doer again say thank you because this body mind machine got this opportunity remember it is not your desire so the body mind machine cannot take the credit of fulfilling it the credit goes to the one whose desire is appearing through this body mind machine it is simply a medium of action it is not an actor whose desire is this nobody is it is simply there a part of the illusion we call it the force of the existence sometimes we call it the energy of the existence energy of consciousness many names are there sanskrit shakti or devi remember it is me only infinite potential is getting expressed like this right now there is no real energy there so the life of the seeker becomes like this whatever is happening is for my progress 
and you will see there will be miracle then everything that will happen will be for your progress it is like this if you ignore it if you suppress it or if you turn it into something negative you will see that these miracles they stop happening many times it happens your life will return to normal worldly life there is nothing wrong in normal life i am not saying it is bad but you can fuel the fire of spirituality like this if you enjoy it only then if you don't enjoy it if you see it is childish <laughs> then no need to do it forcefully is doing it forcefully forcing yourself to act in a artificial way is also not good that is also considered negative so like they say you cannot worship if you are not in love with that thing that you are worshiping you cannot force yourself to worship anything same way you cannot become a seeker forcefully you must love the game of seeking what are you seeking define it exactly know that it is a play yes it is a play there is nothing to seek you are the whole and complete existence what are you seeking what do you want nothing actually so now everything is a play this purification is also a play it should not be taken too seriously playfully if it happens happens if it does not does not matter because it's impermanent just like the impressions appeared got accumulated they are running the body mind machines since we don't know how many ages thousands of years they will disappear it is impermanent timelessness means that this already happened everything is gone already just like it appeared meaningless so it has a meaning only when you enter into the illusion when you enter the truth it's all perfect as it is nothing to do no purification needed no progress needed nothing so i know uh, that uh, many wise people the higher gurus will call all these a waste of time because it encourages you to identify with that which is impure i am suppressing i am expressing i am crying i am, you know there is i everywhere it is a big problem that means the awareness is gone still identification and that's why on the path of knowledge there are no such practices which encourage identification with this creature again because we took a lot of trouble hard work to disidentify and to know my divine nature my true nature the highest nature now these practices are simply taking you back in the identification so many gurus do not support this actually i also don't support this so why do we do it it is simply the loving kindness just like i said some people cannot disidentify in one lifetime or in few years also to help them to keep them on the path we play the game of purification okay okay do it i am with you yes you are the person yes your progress is important like this yes the numbers are important yes 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 say thank you say prayers what is happening is i am assisting that seeker instead of scolding that person that you lost your knowledge and you got trapped in the illusion again that does not work i have seen you need to keep them on the path somehow if they are playing the guru plays leela but remember this thing one day you will need to simply drop all these things be in your natural state chop wood carry water cook eat wash your bowl nothing more is needed no more practice this is perfect isn't it is there anything wrong remember all these things that your spiritual goal is not to practice forever it's a trap your goal is to get rid of the need to practice and uh, do all these things it is not you moreover it is a complete illusion that which is so called impure it is not impure it is how it is perfect in all ways it is not uh, fallen or it is not that uh, that creature is not progressing the creatures never progress they simply die they appear and they die nothing more happens to them the whole progress is yes a little bit it is a illusion it is complete emptiness that is appearing like this and some part of it appears to progress somewhere that is also human perspective from the perspective of the existence only some things are changing apparently so with this thing in mind you play the game as as long as you like it but don't make it your goal your goal is knowledge you already had it 
hopefully <laughs> it is true for you focus there and then there is no need to do anything this creature will complete its life disappear probably more things will appear because it is infinite illusion and nothing wrong it's all okay but everything is impermanent so everything disappears something else appears this is the play this is the bigger play higher play and divine play so always keep your perspective highest then you can enjoy these things otherwise they will become crazy strange problems in your life so my job is to remind you <laughs> i am not going to purify you or make you a perfect human being no i did a lot of hard work to remove this human being thing from you you are perfection yourself why will i do that so i will always remind you plus you will see that i encourage you to play because you cannot drop all this identification and uh, illusion in one day can you if you can job is over no program for you no exam <laughs> no purification for you job is over but since you cannot you don't want to somehow you want to keep playing so i join job of the guru is not to keep purifying things in the existence not to fix things in the existence simply to stop all this madness bring peace and bliss in this momentary thing that has appeared which you think is me it is not you one day you will need to teach these things to others that is step number 7 isn't it there also you need to uh, completely enjoy the process of uh, knowledge dissemination if you choose to do that it is like a play probably it is a better play than all these things you see <laughs> that we are doing for the body or the mind that is very selfish that i want my mind to be clear i want my anger to be gone there is no me anger is also illusion momentary it is going to disappear as soon as this thing dies so very very small things uh, but uh, teaching others bringing others out of darkness is not that selfish it is little bit selfish but not so narrow and there we do not care about all this purification and so on our job is simply to serve there is another way to play it is somewhat permanent that is the only advantage there is a bigger goal than simple fixing of body mind machines so here we are going to end today's satsang hopefully there are no questions if there are any you can ask me again next time thank you for attending today's satsang i'll see you next time namaste